Okay, hey guys, this video is going to go over some more order of operations problems, um, but this time we are going to throw in some negative numbers. So first thing, just a quick refresher. Here is our order of operations. Uh, remember, our first steps are grouping symbols, then exponents, multiplying and dividing left to right, and then adding and subtracting left to right. So we're going to start by trying this problem. I'd like you to go ahead and copy it down or take a screenshot in Notability um, and work through it together with me. Pause whenever you need to. All right, so first thing that we learned is that you should highlight uh, any adding in subtracting signs. So the only one I see is right here. Now, I don't really have a highlighter, so I'll just do it in purple. All right, then I'm going to circle my terms. So here would be my first term. Here's my other term. All right, now order of operations, I'm going to do parentheses first. So I see some parentheses here. I have 4 minus 1. Well, 4 minus 1 is 3. So I'm just going to kind of write that in parentheses. I still have this squared up here, and I still have this negative 2 out front. So now I need to figure out, well, what do I do next here? A lot of people do this. They multiply these. That's not correct. Order of operations, you need to make sure you do the exponent next. So I'm just going to do the 3 squared. Well, 3 squared means 3 times 3, which is 9. So I took care of that. Okay, now I can times that by negative 2. Negative 2 times 9 is negative 18. All right, I'm done with that whole first part. So now I still have my minus sign in the middle. I'll come write that right here. And now I'm going to do this part. So I have 10 divided by negative 5. Now, I need to remember my integer rules. If you don't remember these, guys, you need to look at that integer rule sheet I gave you. So 10 divided by 5, I know it's 2. And then a positive divided by negative, it's different signs, so it's negative. I'll put that in parentheses. Okay, so I took care of that part. My last step is I just need to solve this. Now, I really don't like subtraction, so whenever I see subtraction, I'm going to turn it to add the opposite. So I'm going to keep my first number the same, negative 18. I'm going to change my subtraction to addition. And then the opposite of negative 2 is positive 2. All right, I'm almost done. Okay, now I'm, I'm using my adding rules. All right, so if I take 18 negatives and 2 positives, I can't put those together, so they're going to cancel each other out. So I have more negatives, and I'm going to subtract 18, take away the 2, because 2 of those will cancel 2 of those. I'm left with negative 16. All right, we're going to try another one. So again, push pause. Maybe you want to try this first and then push play when you're ready to watch the example. All right, first thing, let's go through and highlight our things, our adding and subtracting signs. So here's an adding sign. Here's a subtracting sign. All right, now I'm going to circle my terms. So here's my first term. Here's another term, all of this together. And then here's my last term. All right, order of operations. It says parentheses and... Um, like grouping symbols first. So here's a grouping symbol. So I can do that. Um, it's dividing. So negative 15 divided by 5. Well, 15 divided by 5 is 3, and it's different signs, so it's negative. All right, I'm not going to do this part yet because I see parentheses back here. So I'm going to do 4 minus 7. Now, 4 minus 7, that's subtraction, so I'm going to rewrite that as addition. 4 plus opposite of 7 is negative 7. So now I'm going to work that out. 4 plus negative 7. So I kind of stop and think about it. I know I have more negatives. I have 3 more. So really that equals negative 3 inside there. And I still have that 2. So times 2. Well, 2 times negative 3. Well, I know 2 times 3 is 6. And they're different signs, so it's negative. All right, so so far I have this negative 3 and I have this negative 6. I'm going to come down to the bottom and rewrite it. Negative 3 plus... I'm going to leave a blank here for the middle part. And then it says minus, I got negative 6. Again, all I did was copy my same symbols here. Okay, now let's come here. I need to do my exponents first. Negative 3 squared means negative 3 times negative 3. Well, a negative times a negative is a positive 9. Okay, took care of that. Now I just multiply it by 2, which is 18. So I'm going to fill in an 18 down here. All right, now I'm almost done, okay? I see I have adding and subtracting, all right? Now, I like adding, so I'm going to change this subtraction sign here to an add. The opposite of negative 6 is positive 6. So now it's adding, so it really doesn't matter the order I go, all right? So I can do any order. I'm going to put my positives together. 18 plus 6, that's 24. 
Okay, plus I still have my negative 3 out front. All right, well, it looks like I have more positives, and you have to think, well, how many more positives do you have? It looks like I have 21 more positives, so there's my answer. All right, let's try one that looks like this. So I don't see any adding or subtracting symbols. Okay, so this is kind of a weird one. So there's nothing to highlight. So this is all one big term. So if it's that, you just have to figure out, well, what do I do first? So first thing, I want to look for parentheses. Now, I kind of see parentheses here. These are called brackets. That means you do everything inside there. Okay, so it says negative 2 minus negative 7. I don't like subtraction, so anytime you see subtraction, you can change it. So keep your first number. I'm going to change my subtraction to adding. Opposite of negative 7 is positive 7. That's inside those brackets. I still need to finish that. So I can't put negatives and positives together. They're going to cancel each other out. There's more positives. There's five more because those two cancel out two of those. So I end up with five inside those parentheses. So I took care of this. Now I'm just going to rewrite it. Five divided by five times negative three. So all I have left is division and multiplying. So you have to think, well, what do I do first? Well, multiplying and dividing, they're together. So you go left to right. So I'm going to start with 5 divided by 5. Well, 5 divided by 5 is 1. Took care of that. And then finally, it says 1 times negative 3. Now I have to use my multiplying rules. Remember, look at your sheet if you don't know them. So 1 times negative 3. I know 1 times 3 is 3, and they're different signs, so it's negative. So my final answer is negative 3.